What is up, Old Souls fam? Uh, we made it. Another weekend. Boy, it was hot here in Nebraska. Like, mid-90s. Every single week. Day. Every single day. I don't know. It was brutal, though. But, whew, we made it. Thank gosh. I've been keeping real busy here with the Dull Soul. Um, just little things. Uh, I'm still trying to get the car painted. I know it seems like it's taken forever but life is preventing me from painting this Del Sol right now. Um, I do have a couple more spots, but with the virus and everything like I've explained, it's been hard uh, lining everything up to get the car painted. But we're getting there, slowly getting there. Uh, but this is uh, just a little recap vlog of uh, kind of what I've been doing, what I've been working on, and uh, some little news and info product launches at the end of the video. So. Stay tuned, and uh, it's going to be an exciting summer here. That's for sure. Rolling into the fall. We might have a lot of uh, cool projects, things. The car's moving along. I don't know. Tons of stuff to go over. So let's get into this vlog. So on the inside of the car here, I've been trying just to clean it up as much as possible. Um, underneath my driver's side here, I had about, boy, six loose wires that had been either ripped out or cut from the previous owner. I don't know, however long ago that was. Seemed like it was forever ago now. But I got it all cleaned up. There used to be a bunch of wires hanging down there. And um, I think I'm going to sneeze here. Oh, God. Woo. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, but I got all that cleaned up. It was just a bunch of garbage going to nothing. The security system, I mean, just so much stuff. Uh, I, I just, I got it all cleaned up. So that's nice. Um, I did, uh, paint my little needles red on the gauges here. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I might try another set of needles over there to match this orange, maybe, to the needle color. The red's okay, but uh, I think orange might look better. But there's just, I don't know. It's kind of just maybe pick your poison on that. Because I got this red Honda badge here. There's some red up here and some red over here. So it kind of all ties in. But... I wish the red line marker indicator on the gauge itself was red. That'd be cool if it was red. Um, yeah, I don't know. But we'll see. Oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the inside. I've just. So last weekend, I believe, I took out my windshield wiper assembly. So this is all out here. And I need to get in there and really clean all that up just to get all the gunk out of there. I did go in and removed my windshield wiper um, fluid container and wires and whatnot. Okay, so the problem with removing all your windshield wiper assembly motors, um, everything is you're left with the loom which is unfortunate and it's a real pain in the butt to like get that out so that's going to be a project for sure because i don't just want this loosey goosey in here so i am going to have to address that sometime um but i'm going to be going with the soul creations um windshield cowl delete thingy my jig so i gotta save up for that um but it's gonna look pretty slick you might ask like what are you gonna do with no windshield wipers well this car is my extra car so i don't have to drive it and it's not going to come out when it's raining and if it happens to rain while i'm out i'm definitely going to add a hydrophobic solution to the windshield so the rain's just gonna like beat off of it 
So I don't know. That's going to be my solution. We're going to see how it works out, but calculated risk maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I did get my stock um, headers and exhaust off. Here's my exhaust and headers because I got some new PLM headers all right here with the Downstar Beauty Bolts, which are just absolutely fire. Uh, they're so awesome. And uh, I've got a little adjusting to do on there because the, the gasket in between the block and the headers is not a perfect fit. So you kind of have to wiggle it around. I still have to get two bolts in there, but the gasket's kind of in the way. So I'm going to be working on that a little bit, but man, it looks awesome. And the other issue with that is the radiator OEM shroud and fan assembly was way too large and it hit this far left uh, tube coming off the header right here. Let me show you guys. Like, look at how monstrous this thing is. Like, it just doesn't fit at all. Um, so, my buddy Christian at Honda Vlogs sent me this slim radiator fan, which is definitely going to give me all the clearance that I need once I get it in there. The problem is... You got to wire it yourself, which is a little unfortunate, but we're just going to use this guy. Um, I'm not too worried about ruining this because I'm literally going to throw it away because eventually I'm going to get a new radiator and I don't know. I just don't really care right now. Like I said, it's my extra car and I can experiment with stuff and just learn how to do it. So that's what we're gonna do. So I definitely have room. Uh, I don't have air conditioning, as you can see right here. So I can get a full size radiator. So that's another thing I gotta save up for. Chalk it on the list of stuff that I have to save for that prevents my car from being the way that I want it. But I think that's how all of our builds are. They're just a money pit. So um, those are my plans for that, to get a full-size radiator in here. I got plenty of room. But this will be the temporary solution in the meantime. So, uh, yeah. Oh, sure. A lot of projects. But I'm just working to clean this up. I got to paint my valve cover again because it's never been painted. I'm pretty sure that's original OEM. I would like to get a new spark plug cover, like a spoon one to match my Kevlar. I'll do that. All that business, that's all pretty crazy stuff. So that'll come in the future. We're still plugging away at sun tops. Here's one. There's another one. That's two. <clears throat> Okay, that's it for the sun tops. More coming sometime else. <laughs> so kind of the main thing that I'm working on right now is I want to get these fat fives off here. I absolutely hate the fat fives. You might have a different opinion on that, but boy, I don't like them at all. And I'm going to be putting my EM1 rims on. And I've almost got enough money saved up to get new tires. I'm going to go with Toyo proxies on those guys. But still, tires are expensive. And it's just a thing to check off the list. But I know that if I get the car painted and get all the other stuff the way I want it, I'm not going to like the Del Sol with the Fat Fives. It's just a thing that I... I don't know, have to work through in my head, but that's kind of a priority for me right now is to get these fat fives off the car and get the EM1 rims on the car so I can really start to envision like how this is starting to look here. So 
that's probably coming next. Rather than my paint job, I just, ugh, I, I don't like the fat fives. I got to get these things off here. So that's coming soon. I mean, yeah, so that's kind of uh, what I've been working on, what I've been getting ready just for projects down the down the line and whatnot. But I mean, it's never ending, guys. I mean, I think you guys all know that. Maybe one day my my Del Sol will be done, but I doubt it'll ever be done. So, uh, yeah, we uh, we do have some bookkeeping stuff. Uh, we have our new line of bezel overlays in production right now. Uh, I'm getting the new samples from our uh, production facility hopefully next week. Uh, remember, we have the Old Souls Rainbow logo. We have the Del Sol Zigzag Rainbows. We have the Purple Zigzags. And we have the, like yellowish golden zigzags and then we'll have all of the other four original ones available as well so hopefully beginning of july mid july those will be back up on our website ready for all you guys to order them and we'll get them out to you so thank you for being patient with that uh the rona really threw a wrench in everything here as far as old souls uh products wise but we're slowly getting back into it so that's awesome so those are coming up uh the other thing that i wanted to address was we have for the past year the well, entire year dating back to june of 2019 done old soul of the month and uh that was so much fun it was super fun i loved uh getting to know all the people that we nominated for old soul of the month and their del souls and everything that went into all that and that was super fun but we're going to be retiring old soul of the month um i feel like we need to keep things fresh unique and exciting and that was kind of getting a little old for me and um i need to figure out what we're going to do next but uh we're we're brainstorming ideas so um i don't know we'll see where that leads to us we may bring it back um sometime down the road but it may be in some other um media outlet or some other content wise and not just um, a blog post on the website. But I do wanna thank all you guys for taking the time to give us all the info and the background and the photos for everything. That was super enjoyable for all of us and I hope you guys enjoyed it well. So um, I think that's kind of the bookkeeping stuff for right now. So the only other really thing I have going is um, I wanted to bring up a topic. Um, I find it hard to locate rarer items for the Dell Soul and spend the kind of money that people want for them. And I just wanted to share my, uh, my uh, opinions on that and how I'm going about navigating that weird, like rare Dell Soul item hunt and the best absolute thing that i've come across is just chatting with people around the world it's seriously the best way like i love talking to all you guys in the old souls community and especially people from other parts of the world that experience a totally different way of life but still have a common um i guess bond with me being del sol owners it doesn't matter where anybody lives we can still chat about our del souls and then once that communication line has been opened and i've got to know um other people i've literally just been like hey um in your region in europe or in latin america or in new zealand like, do you guys have 
these parts that I'm looking for? And almost every single time it's a yes. And sure, you're going to have to pay a little bit to get it here, but like they're there and they're not here. And all of these uh, parts that you find on eBay are just outrageous. Like I'm not spending $300 on headlights and then $100 to get the headlights here from Hong Kong or Taiwan or Japan. Your headlights turn into like $600 headlights after you get new light bulbs and it might not come with the wires and then you got to do all this. So I found that it's much easier to get to know people around the world and go about finding your parts that way. Um, I've just found it way easier. So uh, recently I've just been doing that exact thing. I've become pretty good friends with a gentleman in Athens, Greece, and I was able to get my gathers rear speaker covers which I would like to replace my OEM speaker covers here with the gathers ones I want to get rid of my aftermarket uh, plastic yellow auxiliary lights with some glass auxiliary lights from Stanley so I've got those coming um, I've got new seat belts coming that are brand new that he makes himself over there using existing hardware, but with new everything else because mine, uh, they're really loose and they don't really, uh, retract anymore. So I've got some new seat belts coming, which is going to be fantastic. And then he also 3d makes some replacement parts and little doodads for the del sol so i've got a huge box coming from athens greece of a bunch of stuff that i couldn't find here in the united states or it was going to cost way too much money for what those ebay sellers wanted to sell them for and that's kind of how i'm going about finding all the rare and harder to find Del Sol stuff that's all over the world because even though it's rare here in the US it's not rare somewhere else and all you have to do is reach out hit up some uh, people all over the world and just get to know everybody and then after a while you can be like yo man can you um, locate these for me and it goes the same for them I've sent him over a bunch of other Honda parts. He's got a CRX and he's got an S2000, I believe. And he finds it hard to locate some OEM uh, uh, parts that we have here. So I'm able to locate those for him. I send those over to him and he sends me what I need and it works out fantastic. And I don't know. I think there's just a lot of better ways to go about finding the stuff you need rather than just spending ungodly amounts of money on eBay because it's there and it's easy and you're just gonna have to spend money on it. But if you put a little effort into it, you might not spend that much money and you make some friends and we all need friends in this time. So that was my little rant on that. But uh, yeah, guys, we're moving along, we are moving along, and uh, I'm still having just as much fun working on this, even though things are moving slow. So, have a great weekend, and uh, there'll be more vlogs coming out of kind of everything that I kind of went over here in this vlog. But uh, yeah, exciting stuff, and I hope you guys are all working on your Del Souls. And uh, let's do this. All right, guys. Have a good one, have a good weekend, and stay safe out there, and make friends. Peace!